It's not something most of us would do in polite company. But when cows pass wind, the consequences are far more serious than just a moment of awkwardness. Their gases contain methane, which absorbs the sun's infrared rays and causes the earth to warm up. Greenhouse gases, in this case methane, are produced by cows who release them by burping. And one cow produces around three tonnes of CO2 per year. Now, a Swiss firm has produced a feed that cuts the amount of methane produced by cattle. It's a special blend of plant extracts, herbs and spices that cows can digest quickly and easily. With our certified product, we reduce emissions by 10% per animal, 15% per kilo of milk produced. So if we consider each individual animal, the 10% equals reductions of 300 kilos or three-tenths of a tonne per cow every year. Methane is produced by a category of livestock known as ruminants. They include cattle, goats and sheep. Like all cattle, this cow is a herbivore. It eats a range of plant-based products that are then fermented in its gut. This process can produce up to 200 litres of methane every day, but that amount can be reduced depending on the kind of feed. Greenhouse gases are made up of a number of chemical compounds, including carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous acid. The burning of fossil fuels is responsible for 82% of all greenhouse gas emissions. The remaining 18% is caused by livestock farming, of which 4% comes from burping cattle. So far, the international community has focused on reducing emissions from fossil fuels. But experts say methane production must also be curbed. Most of the world's land use is really around livestock on pasture, on the world's grasslands and they can drive uh, the expansion of meat production, drives the expansion of livestock around the world, and that expansion of livestock can also impact on deforestation. Precisely why discussions about livestock farming are more than just hot air. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, London.